Most martial arts films are not brave enough to include a roller skating song and dance sequence in the middle, but one film, one film is very, very brave indeed. I'm Adam Caesar. I write books and I talk about movies on the internet. Give me a follow if you want to see more like this. This is The Inspector Wears Skirts, starring Sybil Yu and Cynthia Rothrock. It is a comedy action movie uh, produced by Jackie Chan and uh, with stunts and fight sequences by Jackie's stunt and fight team. And it is directed by Wilson Chin uh, in his second film, and he went on to direct a couple more of these. Now, I've talked plenty on here about uh, the kind of opening of the floodgates and all these Hong Kong movies uh, coming to Blu-ray in nice editions uh, after a long drought of really not being able to get them since some of the DVD days. Uh, and even those DVDs were uh, dubious sources. But mostly I've been talking about, you know, for obvious reasons, because I'm a horror guy, I've been talking about horror and exploitation movies and Cat 3 movies and stuff like that. But I wanted to get on here and talk about a more traditional martial arts movie, uh, because this movie sets me up for uh, an even better recommendation. The the premise of The Inspectors Wear Skirts is very silly, but allows for a lot of inventive action. We open up on a, on a, on a cold open sequence where bumbling special forces uh, guys really screw up a case for convoluted reasons, but because all of the Special Forces agents are guys, uh, so the uh, the Hong Kong police sees a reasoning to have to start the skirts division, uh, which is all women officers for special missions where it might be more prudent to have women on the scene. But all this is really just an excuse to kind of have one long uh, training montage that takes up about an hour of the movie, which which is bookended by like that opening uh, kind of cold open sequence of action and then a really big blowout action sequence at the end. What this movie really reminds me of is kung fu comedies like uh, the Lucky Stars films, uh, where it's it's kind of structured very episodically. It's basically like, okay, we set up the premise that we need to uh, train these women to be police officers, uh, and then they just have kind of these little madcap misadventures. One of them being that sequence where they all go roller skating. There's like a karate tournament sequence uh, where they're testing their medal against the male special, special forces team. Um, and there's all these different kind of little bits of drama and comedy uh, thrown in. And I've seen people online talk to talk about this as, as being clearly inspired by the Police Academy films. And they even, they even put that on like the back cover uh, for this 88 Films edition and they talk about it in the special features. They ask the director about it. And, and I, I guess I see where they're, where they're coming from. It is, it is, the setup is police training in an academy in a comedy setting. Uh, but this film is, is, is way less uh, zany and out there and openly farcical. And maybe the sequels get, get wilder and crazier. Uh, but in this film, it's kind of, again, that, that Lucky Stars you know, character-based humor. Each of the girls has a different character quirk, and then we exploit them for comedy while they're doing, like, training sequences and running up mountains with rocks in their bags and using zip lines and uh, rappelling off buildings. And there's all, there's all these, like, really neat novel training moments where they're shooting guys that, like, might be dummies, might be mannequins, breaching buildings. And then they put all that training into action in the end. It, and what an end sequence it is. Now, Wilson Chin, he talks about on the special features, he's actually Sammo Hung's younger cousin and got into the film industry because he was hanging out with Sammo Hung and, and visited a few film sets with him. And it was like, oh, you know, I, sh I should do this. And, and this is one of the results of that. Uh, I really picked this movie up because I've, I've, I've become a completionist uh, for the films of Cynthia Rothrock, as they've been hitting Blu-ray in nice editions. Uh, I just think she's just um, amazing, and, uh, and she's, she's like a constant presence on all these Blu-rays where she's talking about her reminiscences from making these movies. She started in Hong Kong, and then she came to... Uh, America, like just as like the direct video action movie was kind of exploding, she, she kind of she kind of became like the ultimate star there after transitioning from Hong Kong action. But she's really not in it much. They talk about it on the special features how um, she tells it differently than the director tells it. But basically, she got a call from Golden Harvest that was like, "We don't think this movie's working really well. We want to try to find a way to work you into it because she was becoming a star in Hong Kong at that time." Uh, so really, it's very conspicuous. Like she bookends the movie. She's in the beginning. Uh, and she's in the end, and then she completely disappears uh, for that whole middle training portion. That's really not a, a fault of the movie, and it really kind of works. This, the weird episodic structure really works for the movie. But don't go into this thinking, oh, I'm getting Cynthia Rothrock holding a giant gun uh, for 90 minutes. It's not that. This movie is great. It's really fun. It's really funny. Uh, and the disc is really, really nice. Looks and sounds awesome. Jackie's stunt team, these guys get thrown around and get the hell beat out of them so badly in this movie. And there's so much, like, guys flying out of frame and just getting hit and pulled against things and dropping through things and just getting absolutely wrecked and falling from huge heights. Uh, so there's there's a lot of good stuff like that. But if you want a more serious take on the female-led uh, Hong Kong action 
genre, the In the Line of Duty box set. This is the first four In the Line of Duty films. There is not a stinker in the bunch. They are a series in the sense that they share some of the same stars and some of the same creative talent, but really, it's, it's an anthology format. It's just... Uh, they're different. They're different stories each time. The first or second one, I actually don't know the chronology because they like re-release these movies so many different times. Uh, but the best one of the bunch and the most famous one is Yes, Madam, which is a clear inspiration on The Inspector Wears Skirts. But this movie is amazing. It is Michelle Yeoh and Cynthia Rothrock. It's freaking crazy. Uh, and then as the series goes on, more stars come in. Cynthia Khan. They're just awesome movies. They're so different. They're so crazy. The action is so good. They're not comedies. They're, well, there's moments of comedies, but they are definitely not comedies. This is also out for 88 films. I just didn't, I wasn't doing uh, reviews as regularly uh, when this came out, but I think this came out last year and it's probably uh, up there a contender for the best release of last year. I think it's around 60 bucks on Diabolic DVD or Amazon. 100%. If you're at all interested in martial arts films, pick this set up if you don't have it. It's so freaking good. And then if you want a, something a little lighter as a palate cleanser, pick up the Inspector Wear Skirts because it's really fun.